All right, everybody, what's going on? It's me, the Elite H. We live action. You already know what it is. Bringing you some more Watch Dogs gameplay. But this isn't gameplay of another mission. This is, you know, the digital trip. We've all seen it. Well, I'm not going to say all. Most of you have seen what the digital trips are about. These special extra mini games that just take you away from the world of Watch Dogs. It was first premiered on IGN, and I thought it was something extra cool, man. It, it just increased my hype to get in this title. And I have gotten plenty of requests. To upload gameplay of this particular mission. So let's get this started. That's right, the spider tank. Okay, now this is how this works. Now I've never completed this whole thing. I played it a couple times and I can tell it's a survival mode. Because I mean it's not just mindless destruction, there are objectives. As you can see in the upper right hand corner. Have to destroy a few vehicles at the bottom is the energy uh meter you know your energy depletes with everything you do of course except crawl holding down a machine gun fire slowly drains it you can also switch to uh the missile but it works more like a shotgun to me and you can bash on the cars like that but believe it or not there is a level up tree you know you can actually level up the armor the weapons new abilities you know, I thought that was actually cool. See, now I gotta kill five police officers now. So I did appreciate that. Not only, I thought you, because at first I thought it was just to, you know, see how much stuff you can destroy until time runs out. But it's actually, I mean, true enough, you're destroying everything, but they actually place different type of objectives. But this, I was not expecting this to be in Watch Dogs at all. Okay, destroy two satellite beacons. And the control of this thing is surprisingly well. Believe it or not. Unfortunately, you are timed. And actually, your health logo is in the bottom left. The only way you can replenish your health and your armor is by taking out you know, enemies. I see. I hate them, man. The special dudes on the ground with that damn god of laser. Unfortunately, there is no dash, no sprint, you know, no boosters. But I mean, you can jump everywhere like this and, and wall crawl I me, mean, hell. It don't even matter. Alright, destroy the enemy truck. Now this thing, they will they will place this thing all the way down there. You know, it's the yellow little icon on the map. For the ones who, who actually want to set a high, high score, I bet one of the things they do, they just shoot up the cars because when you keep shooting up the cars, you keep getting a lot of points out of the car as opposed to just crushing them one time. But me, I'm just trying to complete this damn mission. Got it. Destroy the helicopter. Alright, now see these helicopters man if you do not have them things right away they can be a nuisance I right, see now I gotta kill 18 cops now I have less than two minutes I ain't gonna lie to you guys, this is uh, fun.
and I'm glad they put this in here in this game instead of DLC I mean can you imagine you know the, the next DLC would have been the um damn what's the digital trip DLC you have to pay what three dollars five dollars per digital trip mission that would have been some bull so I'm glad you can go to these at any point in the game well once you gain access to them I mean, you don't have to beat the game. You don't have to do nothing extra crazy. Because originally, you meet the... It's this guy you meet. You know, you can tell he's up to no good. He's up against the wall. He's like, hey, over here. You go over there. He's like, you want to take a digital trip? And when I first ran into him, I'm like, oh, yeah. I know what this is about. And believe it or not, I wasn't really amped to play this particular digital mission at first. It was the one I overheard the IGN guys talking about where uh, you're in the hellish version of Chicago and you're driving some type of armored Mad Max looking vehicle and you're running over they said demons. Now that right there, that sparked my interest way more than uh, the spider mission. But I was told the spider mission is the most fun. Even though I hate spiders. Hell a whole lot. Okay, I got 35 seconds. I hear that damn helicopter. No, oh, so far I'm doing good. Last time I did not uh, last this long. You know, yeah, this is where I kicked the bucket last time. It's three satellite beacons. And they will have these spread all across. I read you can get to one of these satellite beacons and be at the perfect angle to where once you destroy one, you can just turn to the left, destroy the other one, turn to the right, destroy the other one. All right there at one same spot. So hopefully I wonder if this is the spot. And no, it's not. But see, I bet it was the one behind me. I gotta make my way all the way over here. Oh yeah, I got plenty of time left. So anyway, we got a minute and 37. See, one of the best ways to get these helicopters, man, to shoot these things down from the top of the building. Oh no, I'm gonna get this thing. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. See what would have been cool if eventually later well see I don't know I never beat this mode I was gonna say eventually they call in some other robotic machine to counter this damn spider tank but you never know what these motivators got to offer so like I said I was not expecting this in the watchdogs at all I bet this is one of the little mini secrets that we saw want to keep quiet about this game. Okay, 24 cops. Okay, well, 20 now. Yeah, see, the key here, even though, yes, you're in a big spider tank. They're causing havoc, feel powerful. 
You may feel invincible, but trust me, you are not invincible. Hell, look at the bottom left. I'm blinking red. Because no matter how powerful you are, no matter how big you are, if you are outnumbered, and they keep just laying fire on you, and yeah, that the damage adds up, and you will get taken out very quickly. And that also ties into if you don't keep an uh, eye on your energy meter at the bottom. Because one of the ways I got taken out, I was just getting trigger happy. I didn't know that holding the trigger, you know, shooting a regular machine gun is slowly depleting your energy level. So once it got down to nothing, it was basically just blinking red, the whole bar. Couldn't move, really couldn't do nothing. I couldn't even attack. And I'm just blinking red. At that point, they had got me. Yeah, see? Look at the meter damn near red. That's why it's good to destroy a group of them things, especially like the SUVs. They give you ammunition, health. I see these are the easy ones. Destroy, you know, the vehicles. Seven more to go. Skill point acquired. I was pleased with that when I first played this. I'm like, damn, you get to upgrade the um the skills on these things. So that means it should go the same for the rest of the missions. The digital trip missions. Oh man, look at this. Destroy 40 satellites. Alright, that's cool. A little bit over two minutes. First thing first, this chopper gotta go. Can't do nothing with that chopper in the air. I mean, you can, it just, it wouldn't be smart. But they fill it them guys with those laser beacons who would drop your life real quick. It would be cool if you had some type of energy web. That'd be cool. truck again even though at some point the mission objectives may recycle they get harder and harder I mean clearly you've already seen that this armor truck is all the way down there yeah so now I'm at less than a minute it's all good I got this Get back here. There we go. I replenish my health. All I need is some ammo. This should give me ammo. Yes, it did. I'm good to go. Oh boy, look at this. Kill 29 cops. That's not bad. I'm surprised at this point they didn't call in like three, four helicopters. There, you just witnessed it. They are not safe behind that barrier. That's only to keep you from physically getting too far in the city. They got some damn range on them. Damn. Oh, there's too many of these guys. Oh, 
Oh, see, now I gotta be careful now. Oh, they're about to get me. I gotta beat this motorbike. See, in times like this, where you have to kill a certain amount of enemies, man, then when you're waiting for more to come in and respawn in your time, you know, that's just taking away from the whole thing. You know, you're just waiting and waiting. It's good that helicopter's up there. my energy. See, that's what I was talking about. Ten more. Ah, there we go. Okay, more ammo. Six more. Four more. That's three more. Two more. One more. Come on. Got it. Success. Now I just need some health. I'll be all good. Oh, man. I got to hunt down five of these things. Damn, I like Nick. It's over for him, got him. I got less than two minutes. Let's see if I can get this. It's one satellite. Is that another one? I still gotta go that way. I thought I could have shot it from across. Now, I wonder which one would be more fun, a giant robotic frog or the spider tank. Alright, let's see. Three more. Oh man, we about to be almost down to less than one minute. I guess it would have been too easy if it wasn't on time limit. But they probably would have made up for it by sending more helicopters and more ground forces. Uh, speaking of devil, a helicopter. I cannot operate with that thing in the sky. I just can't. Oh boy. We are down at 40 seconds. Let's do this. Shoot that one from that distance. Oh, look at the time blinking. Come on. Oh, I don't go that way. 19 seconds. I got this. Oh, get up there. Yes. Ah, yes. I knew you could beat this. Victory, congratulations, huh? That's what I'm talking about. You all seen it here first. Well, I know you've seen it here first. But you all seen it right here. It can be beats. The digital trip spider mode. Right here is the skill tree I was telling you guys about. You know, you would think you would get an achievement or something for beating this thing. I guess not. But yeah, these things come in handy. When it comes down to um, playing this mission, if I wouldn't have the appropriate upgrades, then I probably would have lost. But that's about it, elites. Um, yeah, give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns on this digital trip. It is me, the elite ace. Thanks for watching. Signing out.
Oh yeah, one more thing, you leech. Yes, upon beating that mission, I unlocked special outfit. So what you want to do, you want to go back to your HQ and go to the wardrobe. And you see the special outfit in the selection. Like so, there it is. Spider tank. Now what I'm going to do is go out into the sunlight so you all can get a closer look at it. And there we have it. The white hood, spider tank logo. Got the symbols on the right arm, the left arm. And you're going to put the mask on. That's a special cap. But one thing I like about the different outfits in this game. True enough, yes, you always wear a cap or some type of trench coat, but there's different variations of it. It's not just the same cap with a different color. It's maybe a different style of cap, a different style of trench coat. And I can imagine, you know, completing the other digital uh, trips, you get special uh, outfits as well. But I guess since they didn't give you achievement, they give you the outfit, but that's cool. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching this video, Elites. Signing out.